the Super Bowl. It's been around since 1966. It's the game every year that decides who does the best job of giving each other brain damage and future suicidal thoughts. And this year, it's between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs. And that's the only reason Seth said I can't wear my Dan Marino jersey. We get to watch millionaires run around and knock ears off each other's lives while we sit around, consume beer, eat an assortment of cheeses, and take ears off of ours. But you also get to watch the halftime show, a fun medley of songs and guest appearances that either make you feel old for not recognizing them, or make you feel even older because you do recognize them. This is the game people go to who don't even watch football. That's how big it is. They show up, they talk over the important parts that we like to watch, like the game, and then intently watch those shitty $7 million commercials. You take that back. There have been two different Cloverfield movies announced as Super Bowl ads. For us avid Cloverfield fans, this is the one time of the year we have hope again. It's, it's, this is, this is kind of like our Super Bowl. Here are some fun Super Bowl facts. One year, something happened that changed many a young man's life. Janet Jackson had a nip slip. Now that nip slip was the fault of Justin Timberlake, which kind of ruined her life. And we will never forget that, you little NSYNC boy. Fun fact number two. Last year, I placed a $10 bet on the game. I thought it'd be a fun thing for me to do, and I've never gambled before. I felt really stressed the entire time. I won like $2. It was the best day of my life. This is the first time two brothers have faced off against each other in the Super Bowl. This is also the first time there have been two black starting quarterbacks, signaling the end of an era for white men. The only thing left that can be the best at, punter, kicker, water boy. Did you know the Chicago Bears won the Super Bowl in 1986? They went completely undefeated that year. After it, they were cursed by a dark wizard, or at least that's what I assume happened, because I'm pretty sure they won more games that season than they've won in the last five years combined. So have fun, eat cheese, drink beer, yell at your spouse, lose a lot of money, and enjoy the Super Bowl.